the bomb. It's a weird card. I like it though. I'm gonna go a very aggro route through this act, and if it works, cool. If it doesn't, um, ouch, I suppose. We'll go for the early shop. Yeah, I've been liking the early shops for removals. They're faster too, right? Yeah. Why are we skipping elites? Both because of speed and because of coffee dripper. Probably should have played the strike there, actually. Son of a gun. Oh, this isn't working. Yeah, exactly short by one strike. I got baited by the bomb. Dang it. Never again. Powders have been silenced and sundered. Sunder bomb is actually a really good uh, combination here. Turbo is also really, really helpful. Go on to get my health back from John Worm. Thanks. happening. Hello? Cards must be secretly bad. Still chaos is amazing though. Take that over a liquid bronze. By the way, did you all know that we're gonna go four elites? This act. Starting with Sir Nob. All but demands a liquid memories, right? Yeah. Or just all chaos. Dang it. Let's still sunder him though, yeah. Sunder's like the bomb, but immediate. And then we redrill the sunder, thanks to the distilled chaos. So distilled chaos secretly did help us win, just didn't immediately become apparent. But that's what was happening. Echo form, by the way. Easy game. I'm willing to lose more max health for Golden Idol. Uh, sure. 58 max HP. What's the worst that could happen? Smiley face. Dang it, Sunder. I wanted to believe in you, but you've let me down. Now it's all up to the bomb to solve this one for me. Bomb, hello? Oh, son of a gun. Oof. Ugh. Sassy Dibaka, thanks for the tier one sub. Welcome to the Koozie Sub Club. I struck Glacier. One time. That'll loop. Alright, that's a fine fight. Bonk. More energy and more AoE electrodynamics. Just add all the good, like, two and three cost cards that you can think of. Put them into one deck together and pretend that it's gonna work, even if it doesn't. Because it totally will. All right, Kremlin Knob, the rematch. Do I play the Echo Form or the Electrodynamics turn one? I think I play Echo Form, because Echo Form Sunder will just solve my problems. Will it, though? Hmm. Like, we can see the next two draws, guaranteed. So we're, we're taking damage in this line, right? What's up next? We can heal, okay. By Electro and Strike, we'll have nine damage. Four Metallicized per turn though, I still don't see this killing sufficiently quickly. 
Okay. We better play the Echo Form then. We double Sunder whenever it arrives. We could also double the Bomb, but I think that would just get me killed next turn, right? Would give him too much strength if I do that. So I can't double the Bomb. We have to just survive this hit. So close to killing. Eight. Okay, good. I was like, tell me we're not dead here. Whew. That's close. This is a good deck for a hologram. Hologram the turbo, hologram the void from the turbo. It doesn't really matter. All right, one more elite to get through. We just gotta live. Easy. This one's easy. Behold. The power of Echo Form. damage plus 16 plus 9. I could do 105 damage. Amazing. Bonk. Blood Vile Fire Potion. Now we definitely get to just upgrade again before Slime Boss. Should probably upgrade Turbo. I think. And then we super duper stomp on Slime Boss, basically no matter the draw order. Bomb turn one is pretty good. Also just strike over to a cast, keep the lightning orb around. Electrodynamics, zap, strike, turn two. Bomb goes off this turn and splits. We can also turbo, echo form, sunder. I'll throw this for good measure. Then we have a guaranteed win. Ice Cog is less good than before. It's still pretty good, though. I'll take one. Unfortunately, no... Pyramid or Sneko Eye here. I guess I'll take more energy with Philosopher's Stone, giving the enemies additional strength, but... I don't really like it. We need more card draw now. Of course. Hello, birds. Save me, dual cast. I actually strike center this one. Let's do it. Oh, echo form over bomb. Just take 24. Ouch. Hurts in a deck with 58 max elf. EQ will help a lot. Hey, Bloody Idol will help a lot. Now we're healing. Glad I sacrificed the max elf to get that. Kunai? That's weird. I don't really like a kunai here very much. Toxic Egg. Kind of expensive, but maybe worth it. Abacus for block on shuffle? This deck does do that often enough. I'll just take a Toxic Egg. Toxic Egg and an Energy Potion sounds good. Or a Steam Barrier Plus. Actually, I like that too. We'll get bonus healing from these nerds when we get our money back. So we're actually extremely grateful to see them. As they give us more health after the fight. Funny how that works. That said, ouch, no face. So heal once, heal twice. Charge battery or white noise? We still need better block. I'll take a battery here. I'm going this way? That's a lot of upgrades. 
Didn't take that many card rewards last time. Part of the problem. Hmm. With Toxic Egg, we don't want as many upgrades, but my health situation is currently a little precarious. This is good. Good on turn one, anyway. Just gotta survive next turn. That works, too. Uh, the front one dies, the back one doesn't. Being vulnerable is not a problem because they die this turn. Ceramic Fish gives us money whenever we add a card to the deck, which is also going to give us healing. That's pretty cool. I'll take a source of a Frost Orb. We could also consider Storm here. Storm Electro Bias Echo Form. That's pretty freaking potent, man. Let's try it. Don't necessarily want to upgrade it, but I do want... to have it. Oh, man. And Mummified Hand from the previous run not being here is here this time. Where are the heat sinks at? Guess you can't get them if you don't take fights. So let's take some fights. I regret this immediately. Help! Oh, I didn't play that turbo, did I? Foolish. Actually, that's not too bad. This is a bit worse, though. The healing's real though. Do I need yet more energy? I feel like we're gonna need it. We just we just need a heat sink, and so this is gonna work. Or any other good source of draw. An aggregate would also work. But if we don't get it, we could end up in disaster town pretty quick here. Well, heck, it's unfortunate. Is this an appropriate time to distill? Yeah. Didn't help. A little too hasty in this fight. I think one or two unnecessary days might have really cost me. That said, we're still healing. There's some card draw. I don't really like the penalty that Overclock comes with, but I am going to enjoy getting our cards in play faster. And the five hit point heal I get from adding it to the deck right now, I will also enjoy. Here we go. Graham Glacier. Get life going as it goes. Wrong order there. Foolishness. Take one event. Actually, I have no potions. I'll take a combat. Yeah, idol's definitely keeping me alive currently, but is it enough? <laughs> not with draws like this. Ultimately, not with a deck like this, huh? Forgetting 
I have Bumble Flat Hand. I'll go plus. Not gonna help me in Collector. I'd love this card, but I can't take this right now. Well, it does heal me for five. All right. I'm sure I won't regret that. Still no potions, by the way. Yikes. All right, unless we get early echo form, we're super dead here. Oh, good. All right, everything's fine. Not gonna buy us yet, though. Do I double bomb? Probably want to. Or I can hollow biased and glacier. I start losing focus. That's okay. You can kill pretty quickly here. Right? Rather wait on the biased if possible. But I can still glacier. Let's do that. Okay, here we get to double electro. So I didn't need to bomb, although it would have helped here. Yikes. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't play the biased, I think. Pretty sure. Pretty sure I'm glad. But 80% sure. Is echo farming this going to be viable? Not in this fight, no way. Don't play this because I want to retain it so I don't have to draw it again. Don't play this yet. Okay, double glacier. Now we overclock. We're still retaining a lot. Um, don't have three attacks in hand. Let's not play aggro. Actually, I do. Yes. Okay, now we can double bias cog, and we should be good from here. Although, bear in mind, I won't have any frost orbs if I do that because of the storm. It's fine with this draw. And I'm still retaining, too, right? That's right. So I can actually double bias next turn. Let's do that. The sad turn. Oh, goes for the resummon. In that case, I'll double bomb. Equilibrium. Now I'll double bias. Keep retaining everything. Kill them. And now bomb kills. Cool. All right. We made it through. Thanks to that early Echo Form draw that I said would be required. Reboot Plus may or may not be helpful. Uh, I'll rather take a Core Surge to go with our bias. Second Electro is also really zappy here. Take the Core Surge. Inserter? Inserter is pretty powerful. Though we only have one Frost card, we can pick up more Frost cards. Take Inserter. Kind of gearing this, this run up for the longer, slower fights ahead. Um, we need to look at a couple shops, because we're one rich, two... all because we're rich and I want to see powers specifically I want to see a heat sinks Good Lord do I want to see a heat sinks well I can't tell you how nice it is to be at uh, full health here oh yeah we also want to see our genetic algorithm and double it Okay, 
can only play it one time, but I can still play it. There's a heat sink. Heck yes, Twitch chat. And a card removal. Even better. Deck just got 20% better. Maybe 35, even. Good. Incursion's okay? Hmm. Don't know about that. We skip these. <laughs> Centennial's good. Secret Technique's good. I really like Centennial. Especially since we have Sustain. More max health might be nice. And Tropic Brew is very good, especially with... Oh, we don't have the Ornithopter this run. That was last run. Alright, just card remove then... And puzzle for card draw. Please don't curse me. Oh dear. Just want to upgrade my heat sinks. Please leave me in peace. Terrible mistake. Okay, that didn't punish me. Definitely could have got cursed there and had to use the swift potion or the attack potion. Well, the attack potion would make more sense. All right, and I have to glacier so that I can strike this turn. We'll run the turbo. Glacier first. Now strike. There we go. That's a good robot. Now I'll take a reboot plus. Now that it's not uh, up against a core surge. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. I have to fight a few elites here. I hope it won't go too poorly for us. It certainly could. I said our deck's not that good. Only one make it one way to make it better though. Play the reboot. Go zap, charge battery, heat sinks, electro, guaranteed. Sure. Statue, nice. Do I need a Darkness Plus? No, I need Frost Orbs. Awakened One is waiting. Maybe wanted to take a little bit of damage here, but I needed to retain, so doubt it. Let's 
a good time for the attack potion. Unironically, though, cold snap. <laughs> cold snap, hello. Hmm. But the meteor strike. Boop. Can't turn down a meteor strike. Okay, here I will deliberately take a little bit of damage to get more cards in my hand for next turn. Although it's only going to be plus one, unless I play a dual cast. Guess I'm okay with that. Just plus one. Don't have Echo Form yet in play. Looks like I have to Algo this turn then. Two is maybe a bit generous, but Repto's gonna be dead pretty quick. And just give me the reboot, I guess. Easy. Wondering if I would draw absolutely no damage? Terrifying. It's actually not a whole lot of damage to draw or not draw. And I didn't even put Echo Form in play. Oh, see, this is terrifying. Bomb, though. Ha! Ah, had you all fooled. Yep, the audience was fooled. Not me. I wasn't fooled. Certainly not. Thanks for the heal, chest. Alright, knowing that this can't be a Reptomancer, I'll gladly take a third elite. Even had myself fooled, I wouldn't go so far as to say that. Somebody had me fooled, but it wasn't me. Fooled so many people. Wish I hadn't fooled them all. Forty block, that'll do. Give me your draw. within acceptable parameters. Can we play the algorithm? We get white noise plus. Or static discharge. No, we want a white noise in this deck. We can't have our potions swapped up on us unacceptably. Next pot versus block pot. Uh, keep these potions. I remember that I am allowed to use one potion per combat. Just for my own information. So go bomb, core surge, echo form, overclock, echo form? Yeah. Double your echo. Double your fun. Pyramid. The only way. Alright, I'll do it. Literally the last card, huh? pile, huh? Seems like that's fine. Pocket Watch is amazing. 
Do I need a double energy? I doubt it. I've got aggregate and the other thing. All for one? Nope. Reprogram? That'd be a hilarious way to beat Awaken one. Wait, what? No, this deck can't do that, can it? Got Kunai. My God, that'd be so weird. I don't want to try to do that. <laughs> Program until you can kill with a single strike. What Grandmaster Da used to say. That man knew how to take down a spire. plan for next turn, exactly. Murder? Murder's a good block plan. Oh, those are the cards I didn't draw? Okay, Swift Potion, you're in. Should have considered a rebound a little harder there. Madnesses. Madness pluses. Hmm. I don't think so. I'd rather just use the pocket watch. Form a great dual cast. Great dual cast. Or you anyway. Okay, I'll just play. I gotta play one of the electros. I might as well play this one. Let's go strike, electro, bomb, then reboot. We have to play a select few powers. I have to... Ideally, I'd like to double core surge, double bias cog. I don't know if that's going to be a thing. Necessarily. Yeah, bias will have to wait, looks like. Uh, this is probably a good fight for the dex potion, actually. Let's use it here. I realize I just missed a little bit of health. Okay with that. Additional potions could be required here as well. I mean, this is a tough fight overall. What I won't be playing is Storm or Heat Sinks in this fight. Probably not overclocks, unless absolutely necessary. That's right, we have Inserter. Actually, we'll be fine here. I completely forgot about Inserter in this fight. That said, this turn looks nasty. There we go. Algorithm will help. Play just a single Core Surge. That should be plenty, now that I remember we have Inserter. I'm not going to give this nerd any additional strength at this moment. Probably need to keep that defend, though. Just keep... Retaining. Eventually, they'll have to give in. Hmm. Alright, I really, 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 really would really would like to see glaciers soon. Just FYI. Some things out of my hand. This will play this. Fine, not doubling that. Let's 
son of a gun. It's terrifying. I'm retaining for five turns, by the way. This is funny as heck. Alright, here we go. Blocking! 17 times 4 anyway. Uh, 80 minus 12. 68. Got it. Slowly but surely, progress is being made to bring this foul beast to justice. All right, it's time to storm the gates. I don't want that many lightning orbs, do I? Actually, maybe I do, yeah. Get overclock here. Have some lightning. The good old fashioned kind. Back that glacier to be duplicated next turn, if necessary, but only if necessary. Yeah, that's right. Hit me with the sludge again, you nerd. Let's see what happens. And that's how you beat the awakened one with this kind of deck. All right, now we can absolutely slaughter everybody else who remains. Get him. Um, 27. Please. Oh yeah, and I draw 10? Yeah, let's draw 10. 10 versus draw 5. Easy choice. Go defragment first. Force surge, biased. Echo form. Good stuff, man. Even the kunai gets in there. Easy. Go next turn. Looking good here. Pocket watch. Problem is, we do run out of powers eventually. We'd really like a creative AI or something. All right, this feels like a much more capable run. We've got way more relics than last time, only nine. Currently at the 40-minute mark, so a bit of a slower run comparatively, but still high on the potential success list. What upgrade here? Zap or the bomb? Is we're playing Zap crucial to my operation? Actually, surprisingly, yes. 
Let's upgrade that zap, finally. Don't see that often. Floor 53, upgrade zap. Even more orb slots with runic capacitor, I like it. Entropic brews, pretty good. Power potions, pretty good. Um, loop is pretty good. Big fan of chill, especially. Does Core Surge give more artifact when upgraded? No. Can't afford all three of these, but I could afford chill, capacitor, power potion? No, I can't do that either. Right? I have ceramic fish? Hold on. So it's 70 plus 169 plus 109. No. Uh, plus 55. Wait. 294. Now we're just shy of getting the capacitor. Maybe I don't bother with capacitor then. Just go chill in Tropic Brew. If I can't even fill the orb slots, it doesn't matter that I have them anyway. So I don't think I need the Runic Capacitor. Let's go chill in Tropic Brew. And we can buy a loop now. Yeah, loop. loop seems good. Uh-oh. All right, we'll have to use the Pocket Watch, maybe also the Puzzle this turn. Don't need to panic. Go loop, biased, chill. And the block potion might as well, because we still don't full block. But then this turn is crucial. Ooh. Not great. I don't think I can play this Echo Form right now. Without having more energy in my hand. Might as well Hologram for free, though. Could bomb a second time. I'm just gonna reboot. Eh. Should have played the Echo Form. We don't take the damage here. Okay. Turbo's in the discard pile. Here we go. Really need to turn around? Not many ways to turn around. Sunder's one of the few, actually, so we should probably do that. I'm also going to invest one focus potion in this fight. Hologram the Void here, or... Yeah, just the Void. This fight could go on for a while. Yikes. Oh, hey. Goes off this turn. Next turn's pretty spooky, but Pocket Watch is here. Now I feel like I can play the Echo Form, because we can Echo Form, we draw two, then aggregate. Thankfully, there wasn't a void to draw into. Can you imagine? Here we go. Back around, 13 by 4. Okay, we'll keep the algorithm for next turn. Duplicate it. Here we go. Second aggregate. Um, I'm happy with what we have. All right, Mr. Hart. Not a guaranteed outcome. Although Curse Surge by Scog turn one feels pretty good. Pretty good indeed. Makes an electro free. Now we draw. Aggregate. Yes. Do I drink this now or after I gamble? Tough call. I'm going to draw more off puzzle too. Let's. Let's see what we're getting.
No heat sinks yet, huh? Hmm. Debating hologramming the overclock, but if I if I reboot, that's just a stupid thing to do. Duplicate the glacier next turn. We're fine. We're fine. Sixteen cards on turn one. You'll love to see it. That was a really good turn one. Bear in mind, this is a Philo Stone deck, so there is yikes incoming. This is a good time for the Gambler's Brew. Let's do it. You. 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 Should have kept the aggregate first. Played the aggregate first, that's okay. Let's see what's in here now. More orb slots. A power potion, which is another echo form. I haven't played any cards yet this turn. Easy. Easy. And play this twice too. Oh no, that's only once. Fair enough. Holy crap, all of the block is real. In it. Problem is, uh, Storm is the bottom power in the deck. But that's fine, we've got Inserter here. Ah! Alright, Claire. Guess I get to play that defrag later. Double algorithm, this is the last fight in the game. Don't worry about that. Time for some zapping. Zappity, give them the blappity. GG. Hey there. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And before you go, join us on Twitch and watch live. I'm there five days a week playing Slay the Spire, answering questions, and chilling with the community. Click the link in the description to follow right now. Ta-ta for now.